Let's talk some video games. Video games. Video games. I think that's how I'm going to introduce video games from now on. Video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to run down our now. All right, Brendan. Before we start, before we start, are these current or or all time? These are ones that I played for the first time this year for the most part. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna. I'm gonna give you my top five video games of 2016. But first, Brendan's gonna give you the top five that he's actually played this year. So let's start it off, Brendan. Give us number five that I played for the first time this year. All right. For the first time. Sorry. For the first time. Yeah. Uh. So Small World Two is at number five, and I'll tell you why. It's not even. I won't say it's, like it's the best game in the world, but it is. It is a video game, too. It is a video game, too. And the big reason that it's on this list for me, because this is my list, and I, it's been good times playing with our family that are spread out. Like it's, you, it's like gathering around the table and, and playing a board game. That That's a pretty fun board game. It does have lots yeah. of bugs, but it works. And so yeah. I like it. And I find myself playing it other times, too. So I've, I found myself playing that actually a good bit this year because... Oh, number, number four. four, number four, Super number Mario Maker, four. which came out at the end of last year, but I got it this yeah. year, and it's been a good time, and I really enjoy the but extra endless Mario game. Yeah, in playing like the the extra levels uh, that other people have created, they've made some mm -hmm. amazing levels. They they made someone made a a Zelda dungeon like puzzle level. <laughs> That really? was amazing. The The events are great. Um, building stuff is a lot of fun. Can play with the kids, can play with whatever. It, it, it's a good time. Hmm. So, well, there you go. Number three. All right, what are we three? Number three. I, I think this may have actually come out this year. <laughs> yeah, I think it won an award or was up for an award this year anyway. Stardew Valley, which is somewhat uh, indie game, I think. Um, but you are. I don't think I've ever played it. All right, yeah. Uh, so Stardew Valley, it's got that like retro look, um, but you're invited to I guess your dad, your grandfather's uh, old village where you've inherited some property, and you you have you start up like a farm and doing other and you help out the people, of the village, and it's this big, I, I don't know, like town simulator, but you do quests for people, you, you gather wood, you do whatever, you make stuff. It, it it's a lot of fun. I I, I like it. And days change, whatever. So, number two, this is... Now, the name's going to give away that this was not from this year. That was number three. Sorry, Duval was number three. Okay, okay go ahead. So, number two, uh, Rocksmith 2014 Remastered, which I finally got hmm. this year after putting it off, getting it for a long time. because hmm. it's For two years to be... Yeah. But my, uh, my my wife got it for me, and my uh, brother lent me his guitar that you could see behind. Uh, and it's it's a good it's good way like to guitar. learn guitar. Uh, at least it's a fun way to do it. I, I've learned some things from it, uh, and it has a lot of fun like uh, extra games that use a guitar essentially as a controller to to learn skills. <laughs> but they have like a zombie game uh, where you kill zombies by playing chords. But it, it feels like old uh, like old. I don't know, House of the Dead with, with bad voice acting and things like that. And it's, it's great. Okay. And number one. Number one. Massive Chalice. Now, those of you that may know me might say, like, Brandon, why haven't you played this game before? It's a double fine game. But I haven't. And I played it this year. And when I started playing it, I couldn't stop playing it for days mm -hmm. and I ended up losing a lot of sleep because I, it was, it was one of those games where you're just like, all right, let's, oh, I'll do one more. What, go to the next <laughs> just event. One more little part. Just, just yeah, one little little go, part. go to the next one. Oh, well, I got to finish this battle, one right? Oh, well, let me just see what happens one, next. One more little one. Yeah. You know, so I played through it. I, 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 I lost I'm, initially I'm had... doing it. Actually, it's a great uh, two or three of the ones on my list did that to me this year. So, but some and massive I... chalice, Real quick, a game where you are in control of this kingdom, essentially, and you have to control bloodlines that make heroes that fight off this, like, evil cadence that's coming in and, like, infecting the people. And you have to, like, stave it off for 300 years while uh, this, chal this massive chalice that's fucking 
um, makes the formula to tr- to get rid of them forever, right? But you have to <laughs> keep the area alive, uh, at least enough of the the central area alive long enough uh, through all these heroes and fighting off all this stuff. Um, and at the same time, you have little random events that happen where you have to make some hard decisions about what to do in, in events in the kingdom and things like that to keep everything going for huh. this 300 years. Okay. It's good. It's Sounds time. pretty unique and cool. Yeah, that's a, it's a- so hey all right well that's brendan's top five list mostly of 2016 mostly actually they're mostly not, not probably <laughs> but shh, shh, don't tell anybody. games i played first in 2016 yeah there you go but here's my top five list of video games of 2016 all of these were released in the calendar year of 2016 so here we go um now i'm gonna start off number five telling you that if you watch my review i still stand by that review it did not give it a good review, but I play this game so much that I can't not put it on the list, and that's Destiny Rise of Iron. Um, yeah, the the expansion was kind of garbage this year. It kind of got gypped, but and I still love the game. So, And it, it brought me back for dozens more hours of just grinding. And yeah, what, what can I say? I love the game. So Destiny Rise of Iron is number five. It's not really a game. It's an expansion, but I'm going to cheat Brennan Cheats on these lists all the time. I do. Yes. So, but number four, um, this seems to be the new phenomenon. Get ready to see this on all your E-League uh, sports stuff pretty soon. And that's Overwatch, Blizzard's game. It's just, it's masterfully crafted. Everything just fits. The controls are seamless. The characters are so diverse. I, I love how you can have different types of, you know, people. Like, they reward healers for being healers. Like, you, you don't necessarily, you're not the best player in the game just because you killed the most people. Uh, if you do what you're supposed to do, if you're a good healer, a good tank, a good this, good that, you know, they will give you recognition for that. And so I, I, I've been really enjoying the watch. And this is one that I, I, it seems like almost everyone is playing. Most of my coworkers yeah. are playing. My wife's playing it. It's, you know, everyone seems to be having a, lot, a pretty good time. Yay. So well, let's move on to number three, and that'll be XCOM 2. Now, I don't know if that came out this year um, for the PC, but the first time it came out for consoles was back in September. So I think it came out last year for PC. But I loved XCOM, the turn-based strategy, the the way you build your characters. It's just so awesome. Like, you can have a team of six going into battle. Well, I'm one of six kids, and so all six of us get to be represented. Now, it does make it tough when one of us dies, and then I either try to keep them alive by restarting, 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 or just say, sorry, it's too tough to get past this part with you alive. That's like the. Problem. I'll let you guys decide which one died. It's like the problem Brandon's playing. Uh, yeah, I figured it's like the problem when you play like <laughs> Oregon or Oregon Trail. Uh, you know, you know I'll, I'll name this after my friends or, or my family, mm-hmm. right? And it's like, it's but like, someone's no, got to die. Yeah. Died. <laughs> I had to shoot him. I don't Why? know. <laughs> I had to put him out of his misery. So sorry. But let me move on to number two. And this is not so much a game as it is. It felt like playing a movie and that's uncharted four. It's just, it's amazing. The voice acting, like I said, it's more like playing a movie almost than playing a game. It is spectacular. Uh, If you haven't checked it out, it is an experience. It is a great experience. So check out uncharted four. If you haven't. And number one is Skyrim remastered. Dun dun. And that's just because Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time. And then they remastered it and I got to jump back in. And this time they added mods. So now I can use mods on the PS4. So if you're a PC guy, you're like, mods aren't new. They're new to me. All right. And they're a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, that, that puts Skyrim remastered up there. Number one. So that was our top five games, at least that we played this year uh, for 2016. So hit us up. Let us know what is your top five list that you played this year or that came out this year, hit us up, comments down below. Of course, at Where's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. Oh, there's good ways of getting a hold of us. Let's keep on.